as you can see i'm holding one of my best albums from a close friend of mine called greg or bungali parada today we want to do a little of a breakdown on art spoken word poetry hip hop and art in general my guest today is uh, greg just like i said who is the owner of this why am i showing you this because you should probably get it if you don't have it already we're going to break it down a little bit on the contents of this album with this friend of mine is going to be an amazing show today so please um join me as we talk about art something that i'm very very passionate about as you know uh and um yeah so thank you very much Right, right. Karibu. Asante sana. This is going to be one of my interesting shows. Mhm. Nimeshukuru sana kokuja. It's been a while. Ah, sijakuwa sana na wasanii huko hivi. Leo umekuja kwa mandeti ya usani sana sana. Sana sana. Leo shaka tuongee vitu mingi sana. Um but uh ukwaje una feel aje? Ah, na feel poa. Mhm. Yes, I'm mm. glad to be here. Yes, welcome. Yeah. Uh this is Mbunge. But I like calling you Greg kwa sababu Mbunge says ni. Unajua ulienda ukapotea usanii. Sasa tukashangaa. Sasa tutaendelea kukuita Mbunge. Greg. Greg ni jina watu wengi walinijua kitambo. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Kama wewe. Ah, juzi juzi. Ni Mbunge tu bado. But which which one do you prefer yourself? Like mse akuite. Hiyo yote. But kuna times naona maybe mtu akiniita Greg no na mimi ni mtu wa kitambo sana. Mm. But yoyote tu iko saa zote ni zangu. Mm. Umeka kwa hiyo kiti mwanzo mpaka na feel kama mwenyewe you all this place. <laughs> <laughs> you all this place. So um would you like maybe kutuambia a little bit about yourself and what at least wajue ni nani ana akupa studio leo. Leo. Ah sasa. Eh. Ah. Mimi naitwa Mbunge. Mm. Stage name yangu ni Mbunge aliyeparara. Ah, mm. uh, majini ya serikali ni Gregory Ochien Onyango. Uh, <laughs> mimi namba yeye ni kwa watoto 11 wa mzee Onyango. Ah, uh, mimi ni member wa alumni wa Meningai Group of Schools. Na kando na hiyo mimi ni msanii. Nafanya <laughs> <laughs> siku kwa <laughs> <laughs> na naandika pia mziki mm. na from time to time na, nafanya anakuwa mtu wa mkono wa watu kama huyu on the record beat and <laughs> that is the most detailed introduction <laughs> my fanya kwa hivi mko tu mko tu 11 kwa yeah. familia yes no kwa number 11 ya mwisho kabisa mimi ndo mwisho kabisa kuliko je like uh, growing up ilikuwa fun having 11 people eh yeah, ilikuwa <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, ni 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 Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Likujua high school because we went to the same school. Mm-hmm. Uh, but interestingly enough because I had ulianza kufanya poetry ukiwa high school. But siko na kujua ukifanya poetry ukiwa high school. No, uh, high school nilikuwa nafanya rap mostly. Ah, aha. Uh-huh. Nilikuja ku switch to, to to spoken word in December 2013 time ya KCSE. Mm. Because performance yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa on Sunday alafu Monday tuna tunafanya tuna maths or, or something kama hiyo. So wow, okay. nilikuwa na rap from primary school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From class 4. Ah. Uh-huh. Tukao vitabu zile za free education zile tukao tunakuwa 12 exercise. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, na kuweka. Yeah. Nilikuwa ya kuandika <laughs> lyrics. Uh-huh. I still have those books na angaliaga tunacheka. Wow. Yangu ilikuwa ndogo hiyo time. <laughs> 
Nilikuwa naandika vitu kulingana na yangu. Yeah. So, uh, nikiwa high school I think place yenye nilikaribia na, na ushairi ni time ya music festival. Mm. Nilienda ku represent uh, Meningai na Rift Valley mm. kwa kwa, kwa ni music festival. Mm. Class 1125J. Hey, ilikuwa ya. Sikuna memory baba. Yeye ilikuwa ya rap. <laughs> yeah. Ilikuwa foka. Mnaandika uh-huh. mnaandika shairi mm. but then instead of ku recite the mm. normal way muna 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 rap. Kwa ni to foka. Yeah, so I think that's the closest in Caribbean mm. to, to come out spoken word. Mm. But officially mm. nilis, nilikuja 2013 nikienda kuisha November mm. December. Mm. Yes. Ni nini ili ku introduce kwa like usani when you're that young? Uh, I think ni influence ya ya my brother. Mm. Kuna brother wangu mmoja anaitwa Lamek. Okay. Yeye alikuwa ni mtu mwenye anapenda hip hop sana. Mm. Kwa hiyo age yenye tulikuwa brought up na lingala na kapuka na nini yeye alikuwa mtu wa muziki sana so mm. most of the time time yenye nafaa watu rika zangu akiona teletabis yeye amekuambia tv <laughs> teletabis na watch channel yeah. so hiyo hiyo music ili ili grow from hapo nadhani nilipata hiyo influence ya ya, ya, ya muziki na nini mm-hmm. but also my dad alikuwa anapenda muziki sana mm. yeah, i think vitu mingi sana zenye alikuwa ananunua more than even clothes mm. ni kwa radios. Ah. Uh, alikuwa na radio mingi sana. Uh-huh. Uh, and at no given time muziki ilikuwa inasimama kwa hiyo nyumba. Okay. So time yenye hii cassette inacheza sisi tulikuwa tunakalishwa chini na biro tuna rewind. Na tunazungumza. Ninyi wasa kulili eh. Toka tu hizi kama nyingine uh, imewekwa. Yes. Side B. Kuna kusimama kurewind. So yeah. Hapo ndo muziki iliingia mm. sana. Mm. Ulishift aje kutoka kwa Lingala ukaanza kuingia hip hop. Uh, unajua okay. I think ukwa mdogo una choice. Yeah. Ati una, una switch ama ni ni sasa ni zile situations zenye muna muna mekiwa mu compete. Mhm. Ni chaza nani ata dance better. Oh yeah. 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 Lingala ilikuwa more fashionable hiyo time. Mm. Nataka kuvaa nguo zenye mnaona extra muziki wamevaa. Aha. Uh-huh. Hizo mafubu na nini. But hiyo time ya ku transition pia inakuja hiyo part yenye. I think niko class 3. Mm. Shule inaisha saa 6 na nusu. Mhm. Unaenda home. So ukirudi home hiyo time yenye nafai cartoons kwa kitu around 4. Mhm. Na yeye anaona channel low. Mhm. Naona sasa inabidi tu ukae hapo juu na nguo wako in the hopes that leo anaweza toka any time aende mimi yeah. endele na yeah. cartoon. Yeah. So nadhani hapo pia. Mm. Na nini watu wa rikaangu wakienda kucheza nje mimi most of the time siko wanaenda kucheza hizo football na nini. Mimi nilikuwa na kato sana na radio. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me, music, music. Right now unafanya mostly spoken word poetry, not specifically rap, right? No. Rap nafanya tu yangu ya kujama. <laughs> ya kijani. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Why why ages. why spoken word poetry because ilifika point flani I guess around I can estimate around 2014 mm-hmm. to around 2018 hapo mm-hmm. a lot of young people got into spoken word poetry. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh hiyo time ilikuja ikakuwa popular. Ju okay Nairobi kwa ishaanza kuwa. Mm. But haikuwa watu kama sisi wa huko Nakuru ni kama mm-hmm. tuko exposed to mm-hmm. nayo sana mm-hmm. but then kuna time ilifika uh, Teardrops was the first uh, spoken word artist who mm-hmm. featured for the trend ah yes yes i Et remember this na kumbuka hiyo time tulikusanyika kwetu <laughs> watu wote walikuwa it was a fi- it was yeah, a, it tunangoja, was a historic moment tunangoja the trend yeah. kina ilikuwa a, a few a, a few people kina el poet mm-hmm. kina, but this ilikuwa specifically tunangoja Tiendo yes. yeah. so hapo i think pia ile ile pia kukuwa more featured kwa tv mm. kwa more featured kwa radio shows uh-huh. ikaenda kikuwa popular yeah. alafu 2013 ndio pia nakuru upgrade point ilikuwa imeanzishwa yeah. yeah. so pia hiyo a few people ku, kuenda unajua ile pia na kuru ni kama activities si mingi sana mm-hmm. za kufanya. Mm-hmm. So unapata hiyo last Sunday mm-hmm. a few people wanakuja, another few people mm-hmm. wanakuja. So mm-hmm. inaende kikua, mm-hmm. inaende kikua popular. Unajua pia watu wanapenda 
trends yes. kama coming yeah. kama new trends yeah. so hiyo kukuwa more featured kwa tv kwa radio shows na nini alafu pia watu wakaanza ku associate every tuseme aje every pun ama mm-hmm. every punchline ama every word play mm-hmm. with poetry with poetry no, yes yeah utakifanya line mbili unaona mm-hmm. uh-huh. no, so, <laughs> Uh-huh. Ikaenda ikikuwa ikikuwa more popular. Uh-huh. Alafu pia I think pia more people waka transition. Yes. Pia like let, let, let me give it a try. Mm. And see. Mm. Yeah. Specifically Swahili. Kwa sababu <laughs> unajua tunakimbiaga from Swahili, we usually want to do Sheng mm. or maybe English, mm. but mostly Sheng. Can you notice so far in Sheng mm. most spoken word poets who do Sheng they concentrate more on the punchlines. Yeah. Those who do uh purely english or swahili mm-hmm. it's more it's it's more connected to a message that is being communicated yeah. so it's it's like when you do swahili pekeke it's the message mostly when you do english it's the message mostly ukiwa po katikati sheng kuna vile that aesthetic inatoka sana when like you're just doing like punch lines i think ni stage ya ya kuandika yeah na pia ni stage ya growth mm. ya, ya, ya kila artist mm. uh, ni common mm. when when everyone is starting out mm. unaanza na what is easier for you or more comfortable for you so mm. uh, time yenye mtu anaanza kama mm. sasa time yenye mimi nilikuwa naanza nilikuwa more focused na na, na, na rhyme schemes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. alafu sasa by the time nakuja ku introduce to to spoken word mm. una vile hiyo pia hiyo 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 genre ya ya ya, ya ya tie drops hiyo ya ya sheng na mm-hmm. punch lines mm-hmm. ilikuwa ina, inaenda ikikuwa ikikuwa kupesi yes yes uh, kina kina kina, kina dofan yes uh. kina flow flani mm-hmm. but i think what difference sasa ya maybe kama mimi na wao at that mm-hmm. time unajua nikianza hiyo kitu ilikuwa ni excited mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. so nataka tu najaribu nikichukua words mbili najaribu kutafuta vile nitaziunganisha zikuwe punch yes, yeah But pia as time went by na pia nikaanza kusikiza nikaanza kusikiza nilika chini nika notice mm. au watu wako na punch lines mm-hmm. but ukizishikanisha vizuri mm. si zile forced mm-hmm. oh na yeah pia, ni flawless eh, na pia yeah. kuna 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 zina 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 zina, zina, zina ongelea something yes no? yeah, yeah. So nikajipata pia mimi nataka kurudi nyuma mm-hmm. nijue ni nini aswa mm-hmm. itafanya poetry yangu ikuwe more relatable mm-hmm. na more meaningful. Mm-hmm. But pia kitu kinyo nilisaidia sana Nairobi kulikuwa na event yenye inaitwa hisi ya zangu. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So hisi ya zangu ilikuwa uh, point yenye thing inatolewa. Mm-hmm. You submit your poems. Mhm. Mnakuwa shortlisted. Mm-hmm. Alafu hiyo siku mnaenda mnapatana mm-hmm. ni kama ni kama workshop. Okay. So time ya mbunge anaitwa mm. kila mtu amepatiwa printed copy of all the collection ya watu wenye submit. Ah okay. Uh-huh. So you go through the poem after they try here to make it better. Oh But, they criticize eh, una kuambia so kulikuwa mm. na the likes of kina Orato, mm-hmm. kuna kina Richie Marx, mm-hmm. kulikuwa na kina eh, na, na, na Mati. Mm-hmm. Watu wenye walikuwa wamekoma kwa hiyo mm-hmm. kwa hiyo industry and mm-hmm. your time to me I think I was less than a year Mm-hmm. So ili 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 nisaidia sana. Oh. Ili kuwa exposed to yeah. people who do the same thing. Yeah. You, you are good but vitu kama hizi ukifanya people mostly get tired. You at the end of the day umetupa <laughs> punch line, like, yeah. punch line but yeah. una communicate nini? Yeah. So nikarudi back to pia hiyo kwa. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Alafu, so yeah. this this happened early earlier on. Yeah, early for you. That, was, that, that was 2014. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Alafu pia hiyo nilikuwa more drawn to, to, to Swahili nilikuwa napenda uh-huh. I think ni because English sama ilikuwa 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 si kwa na relate nayo sana ile uh-huh. ndamlo ni kama aje siku kwa ni eloquent or mm-hmm. you see at English is, is not a language nilikuwa naongea daily so na ile difference ya you don't speak this language daily daily yes so unataka kupanda kwa stage there is a way you will struggle uh-huh. with the words uh-huh. either talk as uh-huh. perfect as something uh-huh. that you're comfortable with yes yeah So nikalin more towards more to Swahili. Yeah. Na nilikuwa napenda kusema. So how issues? Na. Yeah. How could force issues? <laughs> 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 issues. Yeah. So alafu hiyo pia kulikuwa na kujaribu kuleta something different mm. because Swahili iko 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 haina watu wengi watu wengi wanasema Kiswahili ni kitu. That's true. That's I true. Can, I can build something kwa Swahili. Yeah. 
every single time ukipanda kwa stage number one, I'm, I'm very I'm very assured the writing is very good mm. that means how you deliver your performances mm. pe- people concentrate on what you're saying <laughs> like like it's not just a momentary thing and you nafanya and then wasa wana bambika au menini like your performance inakuwa inakuwa geared on the message that you are performing but it is also it is also reaching at mm. you get it like the rhyme scheme the way you know everything in mpango and all that so i think i think that's a that's a good thing that you got exposed kwa our senior alikuwa anafanya that type of art mapema yeah so you didn't take like three years trying to figure out your style vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. like you just got into it and with I the time umekuwa even much more better ni kama kutupwa kwa depend yeah. because uh, nilish, nil, nilishinda slam africa yes. ikiwa na only two pieces aha uh-huh. so at that time round one, yes round two, yes alafu hiyo time ilikuwa na jiamini nasema kuna na hizo instances za watu wana tie aha so mukitai unahitaji peace yes. ya, ya, ya break yes. so mimi nilikuwa nasema nda freestyle eh oh na hiyo time nilikuwa na watu wa noma yes romi swahili alikuwa na anaslam hiyo time yes i think romi ndo alikuwa kwa hiyo kwa hiyo squad eh ulikuwa na mwangalifu unasema umse hiyo time sikuwa bado najua romi ah okay but as after mishafanya piece yake ya kwanza kuitwa mm. luna yeah. yani unajua tu mseni unajua wa bas eh mseni ni kubaya unajua pia yeye anafanya kama ni english yes. na pia kama ni swahili unajua yeye ni mwalimu wa literature na nini yes so pia kama ni swahili yake ni sanifu yes unaona okay so i think uh edge tu kidogo nilimshindia tu edge kidogo juu uh-huh. kuna time aki perform ni kama alikuwa carry the way akawacha microphone akaingia ah, kwa home ndani ya crowd so ni kama ah, judges wangu kupoteza ah, <laughs> okay ukajua ba hata nisipo najua kama ilinipatia eh. nipatia nipatia eh, edge jua ali 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 kuja namba 2 mm. so hiyo pia kutupa kwa depend uko na kuna ni kama kuna standard flani yes. unafaa u maintain, maintain yeah. so uko exposed to people who are really good mm-hmm. ukirudi back home pia kuna watu wenyewe exposed wenyewe wana ni kama wana guide mm. like at uh, hiyo time tulikuwa na tulikuwa na kuya tulikuwa na oeba hiyo 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 slam africa kwanza yes. nitulienda aha uh-huh. but uh-huh. before hata nienda slam africa anniversary mm. ya kwanza ya upgrade kulikuwa na edition ya people wenyewe waliishinda slam africa okay. i think they came kama walikuja kama 28 yes. uh-huh. so many uh-huh. so after hapo pia kuna wale wenyewe wana 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 check up on you from mm-hmm. time to time mm-hmm. ukiandika okay. something mm-hmm. uh, wanapitia wanakwambia yes. maybe hapa so kuna ile tu standard plan ya yeah. standard plan mm-hmm. so wewe au kuingia au kuingia in spoken word poetry ile tu kujibamba kuza una you know umekosa kitu kufanya you literally went you, you literally came in na industry standards in a way like you are doing this in a certain kind of standard right because most people mm. will not come here your time your time mm. your 2014 up to around 2018 vijana wenye walikuwa maliza high school wote walikuwa poets you know poet na nina nina ni poet na nina nina ni you know your time sikuwa najua kitu kinyi happen yes no na you mimi nilienda nilienda upgrade mmm ubwa kaniambia unaweza jaribu hii stuff mm. so nikaanza ku ni kama kujaribu kutoka kwa kwa, kwa Jumi nilianza nilianza fani kabisa nilikuwa naandika kama rap uh-huh. alafu natoa ah, uh-huh. natoa sasa flow yes. unaona si kuanza ati nikijua ati, ati this is what i ati, ati niko ile focus ati nataka focus, hii hiyo uh-huh. time hata uh-huh. si kuwa najua hizo mambo uh-huh. kama za Islam Africa uh-huh. na nini si kuwa na pay attention uh-huh. sana but sasa vile vile ilifanyika wakaniambia i think you should come to Nairobi and, 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 and Islam and give uh-huh. it a try uh-huh. nika, 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 and that was the first jarid. time Yeah, that's Islam Africa that and you won. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we we deal with the best. We, these are my friends guys. Uh nobody <laughs> cares sana. These are these are my friends. So we are going to go on a short break and then when you come back we're going to talk about your album yeah. which I think is a is a piece of art that is going to outlive you. So, <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Karibuni sana. Today niko na Greg Mbunge aliyeparara 
Islam African King <laughs> my friends eh paka la chitu kama nze wa so this album is one of the best albums that i have from a friend of mine yeah like out of the people that i know who are artists who have done albums even me myself have not done an album this is one of the best albums that i have with me and it is by mbunge and this is my guest today how privileged tell me about this album like generally how this album came to be uh the album it was the quest for a king yes uh in ongelea kusu uh jani mm. ama hiyo hiyo safari ya kutaka kukua mm-hmm. at the top mm-hmm. the very best yes uh, uh, what i do mm. Na pia ni ni, ni ni call pia ya 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 ya, ya watu wenye wanaisikiza mm. na hata Kenya as a country to, yes. to strive to be the best the best yeah. home of itself na kila mtu strive yeah. for the, the best uh, at what at what anafanya yes mm. yeah so hiyo hiyo ndo jina hiyo mm. pieces zenye ziko hapo ndani ni ya collections za za i think five five years five mm. Yeah, five years. Five years of your writing, like, and then you compile them five into years, one really album. No, five years. Because these Maybe are eight me, pieces. Me, 2015, 16, 17, 18. Four mm. years. Mm. Yeah, the collection of pieces in a span of four years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. When was this album officially released? Uh, when was it? I think it was 27th November, mm. 2018. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Last Sunday of November. Yeah. Wow. You remember that very clearly uh, because was on a fikiriaga you just get into a studio. Mhm. Uh, unaenda pale huko mic unafanya mambo yako alafu ile mse pia anafanya mambo yake pale hivyo and voila we have ourselves an album. Mm-hmm. Unaweza tu upatia a little bit of a background of how like you know the, the process, process the nini the uh, ups and downs <laughs> and the time when you take like to record the whole mm-hmm. album. Uh, Uh, as i said mimi nilikuwa exposed mapema sana yes so nilikuwa naelewa process ya production mm. i think my first ever uh, kazi kufanya kwa studio yes. ilikuwa 2010 mm-hmm. uh, still in form 1 okay. mm. wow uh, nikiwa pale ya records yes so uh, nilikuwa na rap album mm. ya eight tracks mm-hmm. on a one video kwa youtube So at, by, by the time inafika mimi kufanya hiyo album nilikuwa nishajua process ya production. Okay. Na pia nilikuwa nishakuwa exposed mm-hmm. na nilikuwa nishasikiza kazi za watu wenye walikuwa wamenitangulia. Mhm. Ufi alikuwa ametoa album mm-hmm. ya, ya misimu zangu. Yes, misimu zangu. Yeah. Akuya alikuwa amesha record mm-hmm. a single piece. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa nimesikiza album ya Mufasa. Mm-hmm. So kuna 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 specific things zenye nilikuwa natafuta. Mhm alafu pia hiyo kuenda nilikuwa nisha enda concept shows za uh, mm. different people yes. great performers mm. zenye sets zao zimepangwa vizuri mm-hmm. zimekuwa well rehearsed mm. alafu zikakuwa delivered mm. so at that time pia nilikuwa najua what am up against mm-hmm. ama kitu yes. yeah. na yeah. ama kitu yeah. na compete na yes. yeah. so it come up na a lot of uh, kulikuwa na a lot of consultation hiyo mm. pia ndo time yenye Ivan ila cause alikuwa me drop EP mm-hmm. so nilikuwa pia na consult a lot kwa yes. commission yeah, yeah, yeah. nauliza process ilikuwa mm-hmm. aje nini uh, one of the key players kwa hii album mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni George George yes because uh, from 2016 kwa hizo conceptual zangu ni mm-hmm. mwaka sana na George, na George yeah. so mm-hmm. George ananielewa vizuri mm-hmm. anaelewa sound yangu mm-hmm. pia ni mtu mwenye ame master mm-hmm. music yake mm-hmm so ilikuwa rahisi ku come up na na hizo mm. so nilikuwa na, na consult vitu zenye sielewi mm. ilikuwa na idea yake yes. nataka but kuna yeah. zile musical terms nilikuwa uh-huh. sasa kwa studio na sumbuku kuna kuna hiki tunataka bado lea tunataka lea lea sasa kitu play ni ni aha aha anambia hiyo sitali hiyo tumeanza huko na mwanzo uko sure then i worked closely with mato a producer called mato Uh, so matopia hiyo time ni producer mwenye 
is good at beat making mm. but is vitu zingine pia anaenda kila so one of my conditions ya ku record na producer ni kwa mwambia niko na boy anaitwa Mato mhm na yeye ndo ni kama producer wangu mhm so if you are willing to work with, with him hata itakuwa yes. na kazi yako mm. but if you are willing to work mm. with him mm. ndio pia yeye alan mm. ajue more how production okay. inafaa yes. kufanywa yeah. then i'll work with you mm. uh, Sedafa was very open to that. Mm-hmm. Boy Pia, mm-hmm. Du Bois Pia was mm-hmm. very very open to mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So kwa na hiyo process ya ku create. Ah mm-hmm. uh, ukipata okay. watu ni mwaka nao wanasema mimi ni msimbu. <laughs> Unaunda because you know what you want. Ambia pana. Eh. Yeah. Akubadi zaingia. Pangua tena. Eh. Yeah. yeah. Alafu hiyo time pia nilikuwa na na na, na consult pia na watu na, 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 na kama Dofan. Mm ia no creative skills mm-hmm. na na nilikuwa nauliza maswali mengi sana mm-hmm. nauliza mtu atafanya unaweza fanya aje ndio kitu nyuma perform kwa stage kwa mm-hmm. different na vile ita itatoka kwa school kwa piece, yes yeah, nini yeah. ilikuwa na consult pia na na, na uba mm-hmm. anasikiza ananiambia maybe kama kuna place inaweza change mm-hmm. so hiyo ilisaidia sana kwa kwa, kwa creation ya hiyo album mm-hmm. alafu uh, the cover art was done by kaesa yes Mhm. Kaisa ndo amekuwa akifanya nini concepts zangu alifanya 2016 mm-hmm. 2017 na na 2018. Yeah. Alafu sasa mimi ya album ilifika nikamuelezea mm-hmm. album vile iko akaniambia it is all kwa natuma artworks mm-hmm. nini. Mm-hmm. Nikimwambia kuna ideas pia zilikuwa nampe. Yes. Kwa sasa since hiyo ni field yake mm-hmm kuna pia alikuwa ananipea guidance ya ukieka hii haita haita communicate hiyo kenyewe jaribu kusema ya kuwa pia tu busy inaweza kuwa tu pia so that is how tulifikia kukua na hiyo album the reason why nimekulizia swali ni kwa sababu most people don't understand what it goes what goes into kutengeneza album kama hii unajua like unaleta album maybe you are selling hard copy and people just see you know one or two cd Mm-hmm. they're like okay <laughs> you know like they don't really appreciate what yeah. it means to come up with something like this mm-hmm. and uh, lack of your understanding don't pataga people abuse what you've done the kind yeah. of product that you you know mm-hmm. you've you've created uh, this album is a very very good album i still recommend uh, uh, to support your directions on how we can get the album mm-hmm. but uh, before that could you share with us a little bit about uh, before we get to these pieces because yeah. kuna kuna moja specifically hapo hivi nataka sana tugonge um can you share with us the the, mo, the most frustrating moment mm. ukitengeneza hii album the like, most frustrating, frustrating. Yeah. ama ile moment yenye ulifika ukasema ah hata kitu pia inaweza kaa kwani ni lazima tufanye ni lazima tufanye finances man yes. yeah uh, finances ilikuwa issue. Mm. Uh, time nilikuwa nafanya hii album mm. ilikuwa time nye, ilikuwa nimetoka nime, nime out of employment. Mm. Na nilikuwa na pesa mingi sana <laughs> but nikai blow yote. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So by the time inafika <laughs> that is sincere. Nataka kufanya album. Yeah. Mm. But sasa Uh, niliongea na watu kadha mm. one of them mwenye alikam through ni ni Jerry mm. ndio Jerry Kimani mm. uh, na sister yake pia ni Joyce mm. Kimani mm. uh, awali wali 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 niambia piece yako ni ni album yako ni pieces ngapi mm. kwanza nataka iko 8 pieces mm. so Jerry akaniambia uh, I'll pay for studio sessions na na, na recording na mastering ya two yes. pieces mhm Joyce pia akasema I'll do the same for two pieces. So tuna tayari hiyo ni four yes, covers. Yes. So four equal out of the way. Mm. Sasa nikaenda kwa boy. Nikamwambia <laughs> sasa tutafanya aje? Yes. Niamini. Wacha ni record. Wacha ni record ya. Yes. Alafu hiyo siku ya show. Mm, mimi na wewe. Sales zenye ndapata kwa mlango na yes. nini? Yeah. Na kutumia uh-huh. pesa nyingi meba. Uh-huh. Pesa nyingi meba. Yes kuna sedafa pia hii point nyingine kuna mato hii point nyingine sasa nimesplit hizi pesa pesa nusu imeenda kwa boy yes 
Pesa nusu imeenda kwa sedafa. Uh-huh. Matu bado sijampe chochote. Uh-huh. Matu bado wako peni. <laughs> <laughs> so finances at least ika, ikatoka kidogo. Mm-hmm. But challenges zenye zilikuwa pia ni time ni una record album kama hiyo. Mm-hmm. Ni hiyo hiyo balance. Ndio lazima pia nifanye vitu zingine. Mm-hmm. Na pia si ati studio ni yangu full yet exclusively ni mbunge yes. na recording yeah. mwezi. Uh-huh. Boy pia kuna clients wengine. Mm. Na your clients wengine ni paying. Mm. You have Inabidi tu bro umenyenyekea. Inabidi tu umenyenyekea. Yeah. 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 Sasa uzuri alikuwa analeta hata session za usiku na ndio ikabidi ukuje tu wako overnight. Yes. Yeah. Wow. But one of the frustrating moments ya hii album mm. ni time yetu kwa tumeanza ku record studio moja nilikuwa na record yeye ya Sedafa ili hama ikaenda Nairobi. Sasa wameanza kuambia story zangu. Aha. So kuna Ulifika studio, uliniambia ulifika studio hivi. Kama kama studio mimi nangojea session yangu. Kumbe studio ile hapo hapo ameenda Nairobi. Mato and and Sedafa. Mix and master by Dubious and Sedafa. Unajua si? Nalikuwa pale Prime. Bado koko. Asubuhi siku moja nimekuja nimekuja session. Mm. Na bisha akona mtu anafungua. Eh. Hey, <laughs> Inafika saa hii na shanga leo wamechelewa aje na mpigia simu. Hey. Man, kumbe studio ile hama ameenda Nairobi. Na wako ndani yake. <laughs> hii album ilikuwa vituko man. Nikwambia BMD since hii album. Hey. Niko kwa stage na perform na album ijaisha. <laughs> boy and boy leo kwa studio na ngangana kuimasa. <laughs> Juli bibi saa 10 usiku sasa yatoke ende yeah. Nairobi yeah. ajaribu kupata access to studio ndo watume wa uh-huh. files zenye hapo nazo. Uh-huh. Boy sasa has balance zote stroke na si juu wavelength kama nini. Yeah. Leo sasa nyie album ili nipe next time nikishoot album nikifanya album yeah. kama na launch album November. Yes. Ana sasa yeah. nikona album yangu kwa mkono. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> We're back. Right. So kuna time mpaka nilikuwa nataka ku give up. Mm. Sasa mpaka nasema 3 weeks to the event. Mm. Na consult na the event of the launch. Na uba. Yeah. P- nini album badi jamalizika? Album ba, nataka ku pull a red sun move band. Na launch album yenye hakuna. <laughs> mm. Na sina nguvu ya kupiga producer kama red sun. <laughs> Ndio. <laughs> Uko nayo kwa sababu pia kuna hiyo aspect nyingine ya boxing kwa tutaingia hapo. Bado nilikuwa naambia ikikataa kabisa itabidi niachane na hii album. Aha. Uh-huh. But event already imekuwa nakumbuka hiyo event. Eh nakumbuka event vizuri sana. Ticket zisha uzwa. Yes. Alafu pia kitu kingine nilipe pressure kuhusu hii event. Mm. That is the time that uh, Ministry of Education ina mm. consider ku incorporate spoken word mm-hmm. kwa drama na yes. music festivals. Yes. So event yangu imechaguliwa kukuwa benchmark mm-hmm. ya, ya, ya stage performance ya, ya vile, vile spoken word inafaa kuwa yes. delivered on stage mm-hmm. na nini. Na pia album ime, imechaguliwa ita, itatumika kama pia benchmark, benchmark yes. ya, ya, ya writing. Ya writing yes. <laughs> How did that come to be? <laughs> Ulifika je hapo? Uh, Nini inichwaji? As I said poetry ilikuwa inaende kikwa more popular. Yes, popular. Yeah. Uh, yeah, more students walikuwa na ingi wana mm-hmm, wana wana mm-hmm, idea na nini. Mm-hmm. Of course kulikuwa na zile oppositions wana nasema this is not pure poetry mm-hmm, this is, but mm-hmm. times are changing mm-hmm, unaona? Mm-hmm. Na who said that your poetry yetu kwa tunasoma shule is, is, is the real poetry. Is the real poetry. Yes. Delivery to no yes, different. Yes, so hili wana imba yeah. zao, uh-huh. wana ongea yes, zao. Yeah. So um part ya 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 ya, ya committee when you alikuwa wali, wali bring forward your idea mm-hmm. madam Lilian Madigo mm-hmm. 
na na na, na prof au tunamuita prof mm. prof wa, wa, wa like pia mm. wao ndo wali 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 walipeleka hiyo proposal mm. na nao ni watu wanakuru mm-hmm. walikuwa wameshakuja upgrade poetry mara kadhaa okay okay so hiyo ilikuwa opportunity nzuri juu ile when happen after the launch one week after the launch mm. kulikuwa na workshop mm. ya ya ya, ya judicators mm. na nini embo Mm-hmm. so kulikuwa na hiyo seminar ya one week ya kwa ya kwa train so mm-hmm. it happen vizuri that after he launched to the lafawa rudi na yes. findings mm-hmm. zao na nini mm-hmm. kwa hiyo event mm-hmm. so wakani 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 waka, waka approach wakaniambia uh, tunafanya hii na hii we'd like to be part of, of the show na mm-hmm. nini na nini tutakuwa na watu wengi wanakuja so na pia kuna hiyo pressure mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kuna artists wenye nimealika pia yes. wakuje kunisaidia yes. na launch uh-huh. jichopevu wanakuja uh-huh. Tia drops anakuja, yes, yeah. Muradhi anakuja, mm-hmm. Gladys anakuja. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like, like watu wengi walikuwa wanangojea hiyo yeah. <laughs> launch. Album album bado iko studio. Yes. Ushapiga kelele kabisa social media. Ni kubaya kutaharibika kule. Tumeshaenda kwa universities zenye ziko around, tumeenda Eagle Town, tumeenda Kamara, yes. tuna set up shows. Ukiambia yes, yeah. watu wakuje sasa mm-hmm. kuona the launch is. Yes. Yeah. So pia kulikuwa na hiyo pressure and mm-hmm. cancel, ni cancel, ni cancel cancel album tuifanye ilikuwa frustrating mm. at your time mm. but na uh, nafurahia na, na sana na nashukuru that mm. ilifanyika ilifanyika yeah <laughs> let's get to the album um, one of my favorite pieces up iv mm. uh, number one is state of the nation and dom okay <laughs> dom but uh, before we get to the state of the nation mm. uh, could you tell us a little bit about dom dom yes <clears throat> DOM ina mani ina stand for death of mbunge. Mm-hmm. So EP is nili maliza 2018. Yes. But the piece nili fikiria mara ya kwanza kabisa 2015. Mm-hmm. But hiyo idea iko inakuja vizuri. Mm-hmm. So tukiwa nikiwa nilikuwa shule Kenya Mass KMC. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kuna 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 club iliko inaitwa Powerhouse mm-hmm. ni madrama na nini. Mm-hmm. So time yenye time yenye niko huko kwa rehearsals kuna jamaa kwa ndio Roy Kusimba alikuwa anafanya wanaitaga choral verse mm. solo ama something kama hiyo kuhusu vile yeye ni msanii watu wamemwachi bia alafu mm. after amekufa anaona mm-hmm. zile zake zinauzwa mm-hmm. nini mm-hmm. So nikaanza ku think about trends same, yes. za wasanii mm-hmm. vile msia akikufa charts zinapanda mm-hmm. uh, yes. uh-huh time nyume kufa ndo president ana pledge 1 million ya sanduku unaona vitu kama hizo million ya sanduku eh ukishakufa una wave bill yani kuna vile kuna vile death ilikuwa ina bring something mm. so nikaanza ku, kujaribu kufikiria how but haiko kwa inakuja mm. so later in 2016 tuko tuko rehearsals za webal contact fanya show mm. yeah i think ilikuwa activism or something mm attitude mm. attitude na kumbuka yeah. yes yeah. Uh, so gufi pia alikuwa kwa hizo rehearsals mm-hmm. so kwa piece kwa piece zake zenye na perform kuna line alikuwa anasema naona kifo changu kwa mbali mm-hmm. so nika pick your line nikaanza kuenda naona so nikaanza ku build mm. pole pole mm. pole mm. mpaka sasa hiyo 20 2018 when sasa finally nilikuwa nikiwaza kwa kitambo mm. but sasa hiyo hiyo line mm. i think mimi in one, spark, one line in is enough Yes. Ku, kuandika kila kitu yeah. kingine. Yeah. Sasa hiyo line unajua unaenda ki build up hiyo line. Unaandika mm. line tatu unapangua. Mm. Unaandika so ni ka build up from from hiyo. Mm. So ilikuwa 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 kuongelea kuhusu hiyo stage to villain said that artist akikufa kuna watu wanyota benefit more from the artist. Mm. Kuna benefit more hata kushinda familia ya huyo artist. Sasa so, ukikufa mm. ndio watu wataunda merchandise zako, wauze, watu watavaa t-shirts zako kwa matanga. Mhm. Na si ati nikufanya wa feel guilty. Mm. <laughs> ni ni ini brand yangu. Ni ni poa. Ngeva merchandise yangu nikikuwa high ni only. Yes, ni yes. Ni yeah. Yeah. In some cases there's nothing else we could do. Yes, that's true. Ndabidi tu yeah. revive you kuna hizo methods za mobile ni t-shirt mm-hmm. to help family mm-hmm. ku fundraise mm-hmm. ni nini. But then vitu kama hizo zikifanyika hata most of the time hata wanyota buy albums then we wanna buy album hata kuisikiza mm. kama wana buy kitu wana buy tu ile eh aha aha yes yeah yeah so your, your piece will come in in from your point that is sad really na ni kitu yenyata mpia like i usually think about it in the sense of msia kisha kufa ndio 
people really want to support them. People mm-hmm. want to support the family. They want to come for the memorial. And uh, you said something about also sequenye like when you are alive, wase wakuji show. Like ukeka show. Ni wase maybe wakumi, na ni mabeshte itself, for example, ukeka show, ni akina JK hapo hivyo. Ndo wanataka kukuja wa support the show and all that. But msia kikufa, ndiyo wanataka kukuja ya yo candle. Candle what? Inetaka candle lighting. Yes, candle lighting, musiku, wa meaka kubu, wa minini. Na siti ni mbaya. Yeah, but uh, it's much more beneficial to support and believe in people before yeah. Yeah, you know. Your, your, yes, your, yes, your, your 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 life. Um we're, we're going to go on a short break and then uh, to Kirudi uh, we are going to get a few pieces here and there from this album A Quest for a King. Today I have Bunge with me and he's a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, very close friend of mine. Uh, you guys you should get this. Or I will trip you to getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you get this album or i will trip you to getting this album okay tafadhali alright dafanya i'm feeling guilty but just buy it no i skize all right can we go on a short break rolling all right uh we are back with the quest for a king by bungeli parara Right. Today we're talking about this. Uh, and with me is Greg or commonly known as Mbungeli Parara. And nataka tuongelee kitu kingine, the state of artistry in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Kenya nafanyika in Nairobi more specifically because huko hivyo ndio wasanii wakubwa kubwa wako. Ina trickle down also to na kwa. Wasanii wakubwa wako kila mahali. Si ni kwa hapa. Pole bro. Pole. <laughs> Sikaiyo. Yo lukweli, yo lukweli. Wewe ni msanii mkubwa sana, sambo the really respect. Um the state of artistry in in in, in Kenya. Mm-hmm. What can you say about it in in sense of art as in, you know, the composition of the art, the message that is being portrayed out there, be it, you know, rap, hip hop, uh poetry and things like that. What is your what is your take so far? Uh I, I think ina inategemea na kitu wenye mtu anasikiza mm. because kitu wenye mtu utafuta ndio mtu ipata sana yes yeah if you are not a ukitafuta uh gari type flying or sport yo gari type flying mm. Mm. so uh, for the longest time pia nimekuwa nikisikia watu wanalia hakuna content Kenya mm-hmm. but pia mimi wanajiuliza what is content yes because good content bad content ni content ni content yeah. yes yeah depending na kitu wenye mtu anataka Uh, hip hop uki okay, watu wakisema hakuna content hakuna nini hiyo ndio kitu wenye wao wanatafuta ama maybe hiyo ndio kitu wenye wao wanapatiwa sana na mainstream main hiyo mm. ndio kitu wenye wao request sana mm. kuna a lot of artists wenye wanafanya good music that's a true lot. that's true ni mtu tu I, I, I invest time yake kutafuta kutafuta ni nani yes. like the one wengi. i'm giving you right now this is good content <laughs> wako wengi sana mm. kuna, kuna wengi kuna mm kuna kina trabuli mm. kuna kina kala moto mm-hmm. kuna kina genetic yes. kuna kuna watu wengi sana mm. watu wajawasikiza wow hata mm. mm. gospel mm. naona vitu kwa zile zinaimbo na hiyo kwanza ni familia kwanza but kuna kuna, yes. kuna watu wengi sana wao wanafanya muziki mzuri kuna mm. kina timamu mm. kuna jk kuna watu wengi sana wao wanafanya wana, 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 yes. wana, 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 kitu mzuri mm. so ni mtu tu pia kulingana kitu yeye anataka au ni mm. this works and peer and peer yes utafute and you invest in that yeah kama ni tuseme for example if i like your content and it is online mm. i should go get your content online yeah si ndio nisikie i subscribe to your youtube channel nisikize uh, nisikize i follow i share your your your, your, your nini because yeah. watu na kuona ile tendency ya criticize 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 and then wale wale wenye wanafanya vitu poa we don't support them at all yeah Yes. Jupia ni ni sisi tu tutafikisha hao watu wa TV kwa ma radio mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. so content iko i think uh, when it comes to poetry i think poetry has a higher standard mm. mm-hmm. uh, there are more good poets than there are mediocre poets that's true. that's true yes there yeah. are very many mm. good poets mm. because kuna standard flani yenye poetry ilianza nayo yeah. that so far it is still bado bado iko tu hapo 
Though kuna one, two, three people that Hawezi kosa. Hawezi kosa. Hawezi kosa. Hawezi kosa. Over the years kuna watu kama watu, watu kama creative spills mm. uh, wame wame invest sana mm. u, uunda workshops mm. za poets kufunzwa kufunzwa writing yes. kufunzwa nini. Alafu watu wale older people old poets hata rappers wana wanaitwa kwa hizi sessions mm-hmm. kuna mtu kama checkmate yes. middle mm-hmm. unapata pia amekuja kufunza hawa mm-hmm. poets uh, writing, writing. Yes. unapata wanaleta hata actors hata watu wa playwright unapata wanaleta mtu kama Laura Ikumbo wanakuja mm-hmm. kufunza hawa watu writing mm-hmm. unapata mtu kama Richie Max amekuja kufunza hawa watu writing yes. alafu pia kuna hizo sessions pia za critique na kufanya mm-hmm. nini kuna kuna kuna, kuna mtu kama African Kodo anafanya yes. YouTube series ni mm. sana kwa sana anafanya mm-hmm. blog posts anafanya videos mm-hmm. za ku, za kukritik na kunini muziki trying to make it better mm-hmm. so what is art forms zingine waki waki invest pia na kukubali criticism na art form inaweza kuwa better because shida yenye iko na artist sasa hizi senye unasema ma good artist yes. mimi yeah. tunafurahiana sana. Mm. <laughs> But time yenye utakuja uniambie mbunge sikuizi na feel kuna video unaanza kusema uh-huh. bana bana huyu sasa ah, wewe wewe. Huyu sasa heshima watu walijenga hii industry. Industry ni wali jenga. That's true. Yeah. It's good that you built this industry. Mm. But, but now you are ruining it. Eh but sasa time hapa sasa penye imefika umeanza kuwa desperate. Sasa uh-huh. unafanya zijengi just yes. accept that time yako ilisha. <laughs> Move on. Printo. Si si lazima si lazima uwe kwa screen. Yes. Wacha pressure ya kukuwa relevant, wacha pressure wow. kwa screen. You mm. can go back, relax, mm. write good things, mm. give it out to other people. Mr. V anapeana ngoma zake. Mm. Pitstone anapeana ngoma zake. Mm. Si ya upeana ngoma zake. Mm-hmm. Unaona? Mm. Si lazima wote muonekane kwa screen mpaka uko jutari uko na jina na nini so mm. desperate unaandika tu anything you unajua media tajeza. Mm. Collaborate where you can. Mm. Help kwenye wako nyuma yako. Usiwafungie pia sana, mm. usiwa discourage pia sana. Yes. Yeah. Well, awesome. Um so we are going to take a close look on all, almost all these pieces if possible <laughs> in, on the next session ya yeah, ya yeah, performance yeah. but uh, what would you what would you advise the young artists who are coming up be it mm. poetry ama this other this other genres of music mm. Uneza, what is the one thing you can you can leave them with mm. as they are getting your your album uh, take your time Take your time to perfect what you do. Yes. Take your time mm. to mm. perfect what you do. Mm. Uh, research. Mm. Research what other artists want to do. Mm. Be involved in what other artists want to do. Research previous works za watu wengine, research current works za watu wengine. Mm. Ask for help. Hakuna kitu inakuzuia juwe ni rapper who mm. ask help from an actor. Mm aspect ya performance hakuna mm. kitu inakuzuia kama we ni poet who has help hata maybe from a film director mm. on how to shoot video yako unaona mm-hmm. collaborate as much as possible accumulate knowledge as much as possible mm-hmm. uh, pia soma mm. soma sana kusoma mm. si lazima tu tu usome watch documentaries yes. yeah. mm. soma articles mm. soma so that hata kifika time ya kuandika kitu unaandika mm. you have some you have knowledge you have so much time ya kuandika hiyo script ya movie mm. time ya kuandika hiyo script ya kushoot documentary time ya kushoot hata hiyo film yenyewe because you may invest much ku 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 research na kuona what other people are doing mm. ita 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 flow to be afraid usikwe na usikwe usikwe na, na haraka mm-hmm. yeah just take your time to perfect to perfect what you do Awesome with me in the studio today is Mbunge. This album is called The Quest for a King and I have a quest for you to get this The Quest for a King. <laughs> the Quest for a King. Yes, iko pale ama hapa? Album Oh. Eh bro, ni changanya dio pia na ni changanya hapa hivi. Yes, please get this album. How much does this go for? Uh hard copy goes for 500 shillings. Okay. Yep. Yes. But, are you are you are you are you planning to to put this online anytime soon? Yeah, it was once online then I pulled it down. Yeah, because of the drawing board. Uh-huh. 
but uh, very soon it it it, 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 it resume. Yeah. Okay, so watch out for that. We'll put uh, Mbunge's contact uh up above description. Y'all can, you know, inaweza kufikia mali huko. Mali huko tu inaweza kufikia. It can get to you where you are. If you're in Akuri, if you're in Nairobi, Kisumu, whichever place. We can organize how it gets to you. Please get it and uh it will be a blessing thank you very much so sinivo baba si tuingie ile side nyingine sasa tuanze ku kufanya ile kilo haina yeah yes hizi ni struggles za msanii anadai kufika Msanii jine mesikika but bado pesa haijajipa. Industry na Jomin Kaisari but bado imedinda kulipa what belongs to Caesar. So unangara kwa stage ya concept show ya fellow artist amenificha. But bado malipo ni exposure so na pose ma fans wanipige picture. Kuna frustrations mobi smile imeficha kwa current profile picture. Niko na borrowed image na najua vyema isitiri tako nguo la kuzima. Nje na keep the fire burning but ndani linafifia karibu kuzima. Sionekane na matatu kwa event yenye fan ame pull up na bima. Isi ni pressure chungu mzima. Yeah. Kio PC inaitwa Confessions. Inaongelea kuhusu uh, zile struggles zenye nimepitia kama artist. Zenye artist wanaweza relate nazo. Maybe kuna ile image yenye watu wana perceive um, wanaona msania ako nayo, but in reality maybe sio hiyo things things are different. Yes. Naona kifo changu kwa umbali. Death iko near. Future iko mbali na wasiwasi ndo hali. Naona kifo changu kwa umbali. Death iko near. Future iko mbali na wasiwasi ndo hali. Gone too soon mitandaoni watamaka. Life ikishani patalaka Israeli akishapata mamlaka. Halisikii dawa la kufa sikio. So hata vilio vyenyu wa vita nifikia sikio siku hiyo. Watachipuka kama pretender, watakao fake kunipenda. Ardhi kisha ni meza hata mida itanicheza, wata fake kunipeza. Yeah. Yote tshei guzia. Yo peace inaongelea kuzu, inaitwa death of mbunge, inaongelea kuhusu how people tend to love artists more after wamekufa. I think ni pia kutaka tu kukua uh, kukua on the know that we artist amekufa so acha nitafute kazi yake nisikize so that I also have something kuchangia kwa mjadala yeah, yeah. Naishi kwa inchi jina yangu ya pili na nisaliti. Mahali mlipuko zote ublimiwa waenda msikiti. Society makasisi we biara ya in the name of kanisa miujiza na harakati ya kujitajirisha wanaenda kuongeza idadi ya misa. Pata desperate women wanaoamini watajifungua watoto in less than miezi tisa. Chagua lai kama mzima mzima utaziko kwa giza. But when niambia ni vipi society ta change kama bado askari wana shoot to kill hata majambazi amri waliojisalimisha kisha utaelewa mbona i use my first name na aks kujitambulisha love iligeuka last ndo baba akabaka wake binti so kama ukunjulia hali nikiwa hai usitume rambi rambi nitakapogeuka maiti yeah. uh, that piece is called state of a nation uh, in, a, in a address many different vices zenye zinafanyika kwa, kwa Kenya so currently the state of the nation ni hiyo wenye uh, tunategemea watu pe guidance kama religion wanaitumia pia kutuibia jina yako ya pili badala ikwe identity ama pride inatumika kukunyanyasa ama kukupea unwanted favors uh, fathers wana turn against their daughters brothers are turning against their sisters kuna fake love mtu ata ajali vile unaishi ama nini but then again watatuma ma RIP mingi sana so ni state to of a nation machafuko na nini yenye iko kwa nchi yes Focus on Kenya. 
patriotism ni illusion we are living a lie a 4k resolution a kenya of kenyans for kenyans by kenyans iko championed by a ghost revolution na ni so sad ni so sad that tribe yangu ndo reason life yangu iko in danger na kanisa iko funded na state kuka kimya wakishuhudia kinyume ya teachings yaliyozaliwa kwa menja ni emergency piga 999 na fund ni mteja uniform bunduki risasi amekomboesha on short term kandarasi Kenya ni dom so karibu ndani ushuhudie hii sarakasi sarakasi ya hat heavy iko ndani ya youth ako paper weight ya karatasi kwa hii case sheria si msumeno ikati kote ni makasi hat beat kipishana na pesi ya karao amekalia farasi ndio juu extra judicial si fallacy but wenye wako safe na different killings wakitumia blame but am i to blame yeah so uh hiyo piece inaitwa kabila bala kabila bala inaongelea kuhusu uh, how to, to tumegawana sana on tribal lines especially uh, when it comes to voting when it comes to uh, being given positions in the government kuna 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 kuna, kuna vices mingi sana zenye zinakaa na tribe how people kill in the name of tribe how extrajudicial killings pia zinafanyika time ya elections na watu wana take sides kulingana na tribe so ni 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 hiyo nilitamani maisha fast lane na mingi chapa na kuipata through walifu sikutaka nilikataa waliniambia ndaipata through talanta na kwa hii case ilikuwa sana so nili soul search kwa sana na nika consult watu kadha for my wider kuna waloniambia hii sana itanipa fee mata zaidi ya pesa na wasichana kuna waloniambia hii sana ku improve creativity niandike nilitamani maisha fast lane na mingi chapa na kuipata through walifu sikutaka nilikataa waliniambia ndaipata through talanta na kwa hii case ilikuwa sana so ni consult kwa sana na nika uh, hiyo piece inaitwa sana inaongelea kuhusu jani yangu kwa art uh, nini ilifanya nianze nini ni vile nilianza watu wenye walinisaidia along the way zile shows zenye zime shape na wale watu wameshape vile naiona themes na vitu za kuongelea yeah, safari yangu tu kwa art yes Aliambiwa root cause of all evil ni pesa. But in a case money was innocent juma penzi. Mapenzi ndio ilitumika kumtesa. So love ili installwa kwa hati yake alikat na kaipest kwa ubongo. Hamu ya love ingepimwa na ukali wa meno angeji categorize ka kibogoyo. Love kwake haikuwa in exist. Love was more than just fantasy love. Love kwake ilikuwa ni uongo. Jua alijiachilia katumewa in the name of kupenda. Alienda up to get hurt alipo hold on to false promise ya sita wai kutenda. Aliingizwa box January na Mr. Rizando anda kuoa na hata ikufika December na ilipoanza ilivoanza hadi boy alivozama kama wacha kwa mashtaka in mind vividly and I remember. Yeah. So hiyo ni piece ya yeah, inaitwa early pregnancy. Inaongelea kuhusu vile dem akikuwa bado under age and naive ali fall for for tricks na na ka end up ku, ku get pregnant but e peace ni more of ni more of a calling to society yache kutenga wasichana ni more of a calling that uh, as much as uh, yo ali sex ni mbaya huyo mtoto si mbaya so ni a call to society itunze hawa wasichana nyo ameathirika na wenye bado hajaathirika iwa educate wajaribu kuepusha na, vi, na vitu kama na vitu kama vitu kama hizi ya yeah, wale wachunge from wanaume wanataka kuteka advantage of them iwachunge hata na their peers iwachunge hata from wao wenyewe wenye wanataka ku, ku engage kwa, 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 kwa staff kama hizo pregnancy si si mwisho wa maisha yes ana kabila bala state of a nation confession Kufunika ailingani na ilo wazi. Kufunika mabaya na kuangazia mema ndo yangu kazi. Na ikiwa maovu itanigeuza kuwa rafiki, basi na mapema jua sitakufaa kwa dhiki. Mazuri alishaandikwa juu ya Kenya na maovu yake nimeamua sitaandika. 
so sitaandika sitaandika vile mtamnyi makura juu ya siwalenu kabila sitaandika vile wewe ulimwaga food na jirani amelala bila sitaandika vile nyinyi wa press women ali marriage na tohara mkisingizia mila sitaandika juu ya secrets and lies secrets and lies ya viongozi wenye instead of kudumia wa Kenya wao spend time wakijipamba kwa viongozi juu ya fathers walikuwa na pupa ya kuzalisha but hawakuwa ready kulisha juu ya head teacher ali misinterpret advice na mawaidha na akafunza huyo pupil masturbation kama life skill ya maisha sitaandika yes <laughs> So uh, <laughs> sitaandika ni 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 ni, ni, ni peace yenye ni, 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 ni ina deal na ina deal na state na, na hali ya, ya Kenya yenye huwa tuna assume shida zetu zenye tuko nazo So nika, na address shida yenye iko while at the same time nikisema sitaki ku address So ni, ni na, nasema zile vitu mbaya zenye zinaandika zinafanyika Kenya political murders uh, corrupt courts wakifukuza squatters kwa shamba uh, pu, uh, teachers wenye take advantage of students na pupils wenye inafaa kwao wakiwafunza uh, still again kwa hiyo tu disease ya how we vote on tribal lines kuna vitu mob zenye zina, zina, zina happen mbaya kuhusu Kenya but no one is talking about them we are not allowed to talk about them we are not allowed to write about them so mimi ni nani niandike sitaandika yep aha Success ni chakula na bado sijatia ndani. Niko homeless, success ni nyumba so hata sina place ya kukola mtaani. Living one stage at a time. Mm. Yeah, ni to success. Wewe tulia hapa bwana. Uh, the last piece inaitwa success. Uh, success ni continuation ya confessions. After confessions na hope ku, ku, one day kupata success kwa hii kwa hii art sasa ongelea kuhusu uh, projections zangu za future na, na, na vitu zenye nataka kwa future vile nataka sanai nilipe na vile nataka pia things is turn out for artists yeah so hiyo ndio quest for a king yeah That has been our show today. It has been awesome. It has been amazing. Get this album, The Quest for a King. All these pieces are amazing as you've had them being broken down and performed here. Uh, as he's working on the album, uh, videos and other stuff, uh, please uh, get in contact with him. Follow him on social media, Facebook, IG, all those places. Get him to keep in contact. Uh, and uh, let us support one another let us listen to good creative art good creative art let us can we just stop like complaining about bad bad art and when you're presented by good art we don't do anything about it we don't follow those people we don't support them we don't buy their albums it, it's 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 just so bad you know let us put our money where our mouth is Okay, let us put our money where our mouth is. Let us support those people who actually doing great art. This is an album that I love. If you want to get it, well, get in contact with us down there. You can get in contact with him directly or with us and then you can connect on how you can get one of these. So, thank you very much. God bless you. Until next time. Grace upon you.